Hey, it's Kenny. I was in the process of installing a Windows update. It's Windows 11 24H2. I'm not sure what's in that specific update, but that's what is in the process of installing. As it went through, it was like, hey, connect an external drive in order to install this update. And I'm thinking to myself, I don't want to connect an external drive to this. So then at the very bottom, it says, it has a link that says, I don't want to connect an external drive. And so I clicked that. And so basically it went into this screen that's here where you get to see storage. And so you see how it shows install apps and so forth. And then it, it divides things up into categories. One of the categories was when I went into, I think it was system and reserved. One of the categories down here was hibernate storage. And so I'm like, okay, what is that? So then I come and do a search and uh, I've run across this and a couple other articles on the same screen, but basically what this says is that if you don't use hibernation, you can disable that functionality and then that will remove the hibernation file. Now the hibernation file was roughly seven gigs. Actually it was over seven gigs and I'm like, okay, I only need a gig. I never used this computer for, or this computer's never used for hibernating. Let's go ahead and remove it. So it says, go in here, open a terminal, and then you'll type in this pan command, power CFG dash H off. What that does is it disables the hibernate, hibernate functionality in addition to removing the hyperfill.sys file, which is what that is right there. Once that file and that feature was turned off, the update functionality was then able to continue. As you see now, Windows 11 24H2 is now 52% on the way to installing. So I'll be able to update this computer here shortly. And I just wanted to share this tip so that if you're running into this issue with storage space on Windows 11, you now know how to fix it.